Yo, what is up guys? It's Kill Rogue bringing you guys a support gameplay actually. This is a 117 to 9 or something like that, I believe. And uh, I was honestly a bit rusty in this gameplay. I uh, died off a couple of streaks, man, and honestly I wasn't even used to uh doing the whole support gig at all on Black Ops 2. It's kind of weird, kind of different. I usually just play solo or I'll just play with one person. That's not spawn trapping at all. So this gameplay, you'll you'll notice that they spawn like right next to me. I wasn't used to it, you know kind of got to get used to the rhythm of this if I'm going to be doing support but anyways I'm using fast mags and stock on my MSMC just a little bit different you know non silence since I didn't really think I need it since I had people running non lethals for me but anyways I'm going to say a quick shout out to the people that were running support cold side of pillow toxic and Chino oh my god it's Chino uh, I'll leave the link to their channels or their Twitter in the description I'm pretty sure if I can remember but anyways on on to the topic, uh, you guys kind of enjoyed that last commentary, and right here I let Coldside die, I guess he wanted me to kill this guy, and I was throwing that EMP, so my bad Coldside, but anyways, uh, <laughs> he kind of raged about that, but anyway, anyway, uh, you guys enjoyed that last commentary about me talking about girls and stuff, so I figured I'd do a little follow up on it, and uh, talk a little bit more about the outcome of me and Jessica, so basically, uh, like I said, you know, we weren't like dating officially or anything, but it was kind of like we were, and she hooked up with some other dude, and like really pissed me off, and like, I don't know, kind of ruined it for me, you know, because after that, like, I kind of like cussed her out, I didn't like cuss her out like big time, and I was like, wow, uh, you know, you're fucking easy, and you're a dumb bitch, basically, said something along those lines, and uh, she took it like really to heart, and uh, which I mean, I, I can't even regret that, because it was pretty fucked up what she did, and I'm surprised that she had to go all the way. And uh, whether you're drunk or not, it's just not cool at all. And uh, I don't know. She probably didn't even know the guy that well. So that's what really made it shitty. But anyways, uh, basically, she, you know, she gave me some whole sob story about how that, you know, she didn't think she was ready for a relationship. She's used to getting screwed over by guys. So she kind of pushed me away. And uh, she realized that she fucked up big time after it's too late. She actually drove like a pretty nice Honda, like a 09 Honda Civic. And uh, like a couple days after that happened, that incident, basically she uh, she's going to drive home drunk one night and she fucking wrecked into a pole like it was wet or something. And she totaled that Honda and then she really realized that she was fucking up and drinking too much. And uh, just, I don't know just not taking care of the things that uh you know the good things in her life and just not showing them with respect basically so she reevaluated reevaluated her life and stuff and uh you know she gave me some huge apology and all of this said that she messed up and she's sorry and blah 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 so you know i gave it like a week or two and then i decide you know i guess we can still be friends we can hang out and stuff and uh we started talking again a little bit and uh after a while man <clears throat> basically I got invited to go out to a strip club with these two girls that I worked with and I thought that honest to God like I thought that uh, I, I like spent like the whole first week like scouting out the pretty girls in my work and I thought that this girl named Tori was the prettiest one and uh, her friend Ling Ling this Asian girl uh, I'm probably giving you guys way too many details but I don't really care anyways her friend Ling Ling was this Asian girl and uh, she basically, you know, like, she like worked with me more, you know, the other girl was like a waitress and she, you know, was cooking with me uh, a few days. So she, I, you know, she got pretty cool with me. And anyways, I ended up going out with them. Uh, she invited me and she said that Tori wanted me to come. And I was like, yeah, I asked her like, is she single? Cause she's pretty fucking fine. And uh, she like went and told her and she said that Tori was like, yes, like, I think he's super cute or something. And she was like excited that I thought that she was fine and stuff. So. You know, I went out with them, and long story short, we got pretty hammered. And it was actually like a hole in the wall strip club in Biloxi. There's only two strip clubs in Biloxi, and this one was pretty fucking shitty. And uh, it was it was pretty cool though, man. It was pretty fun still. And uh, I didn't know. I thought that she was 21, but I found out that she was actually 19. But I didn't really care. I mean, she's old enough for me. I'm 21, so obviously I don't give a shit. And so basically, I ended up uh, getting her to come back to my house and stay with me. And I didn't plan on like seducing her and like having sex with her or anything because it's my first time hooking up with her and generally I'm not that type of dude. I mean I can be but I don't like to be especially if I think the girl is like some a little bit more special you know. And like I didn't think she was a hoe at all so I wasn't going to treat her like one. So I just hooked up with her we just like made out and kissed and stuff. 
And, uh, I mean, I thought it was, like, fun, like, a really fun time going out to the strip club with some girls and then, yeah, you know, hooking yeah. up with her. So I was pretty stoked about it, but then uh, Jessica found out about it, and she was really upset about it and stuff. And I was just like, hey, like, what goes around comes around. I mean, what the fuck did you expect, you know? After you fucked me over, I mean, I'm not going to exactly take you that seriously, A. And B, I'm not, I just don't have that same respect for you, like, ever again, pretty much. And, uh, I don't know, maybe, like, time could change thing, like, years, but I'm not that kind of guy that gets over something overnight, especially something that big. So, anyways, uh, that's just a lesson, man. What goes around comes around. Don't fuck over a girl, because she's probably going to do it right back to you if you continue talking to her. And, uh, I don't know, there's something else I wanted to say about this. But, anyways, I'm not talking to either of those girls anymore. Uh, the girl Tori actually went off to college, pretty much. And uh, they want me to come out with them for one last night before she goes, but I don't know if I'm going to go because I want to go to some gay bar and I'm like, dude, fuck that. And uh, I don't even know if she like wants me to come that bad or not, but I'm not talking to Jessica either because I guess she's still kind of mad at me over that, but I don't really care, you know. I kind of need my own space anyways, and I'm not really looking too badly to date a chick right now anyways. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and the gameplay in the background. Leave a like if you did in a comment. And let me know what you want me to talk about next in the topic series. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'm out. Peace.